Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche. Dr. Doreen Grandpiche is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. Ushalot says, we want to start ABA for my kid, but is it okay to miss school? Schools end at 3 p.m. and my kid is so tired by that time. Uh, I think that's a great question. Uh, let's let's kick it off with that one, but then I've got to get to some of the questions that came in over the weekend. Sure, what do you think, absolutely. Dr. Grampuche? Yeah, for sure. Um, let's talk about that, Ushalot. But before I get into that, I just want to also wish Ka a good luck today and don't be anxious or nervous. Just remember that your school is supposed to be part of your team and just, you know, go into it with that kind of energy that they are going to be helpful. I, I used to, honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, one of my most dreaded meetings were IEP meetings because like, I just, I couldn't handle it. But um, I will say that, you know, a lot of times the school is giving positive information, support, and so good luck. And I hope that they really do behave well and contribute to your pro child's program. So that's that. <laughs> and now, who shall I? Yeah. <clears throat> and then you're writing in more and saying, my kid goes to a public school. I don't know how much they work with him. It's like a black hole. Yeah. So I, I always look at school based on the child's needs, just like everything else, right? If it's a younger child, and as long as possible, I keep my kids out of school in order to prepare them so that when they go to school, they're successful. So I don't know how old your child is. I don't remember now, Shula. But if, your child, if it's possible to keep your child out, like let's say if it's a four-year-old or five-year-old, then you can do a lot more if you are doing one-to-one -one with the child at home and he's eight. Okay, so I don't think you can actually keep him out. Your option is to do homeschooling if that's something that you would like to do. Otherwise, the other thing you can do is hold an IEP meeting, an individualized education plan meeting, and talk to the school and come to an agreement about a couple of different things, right? Like that's the whole purpose of these IEP or IEE meetings is to be able to uh, make sure that the period of time our kids are in school is not like wasted time. Like you said, it's not black hole, but they're actually using the time in a positive, supportive, uh, effective way. And in order to do that, there's a number of different things that I suggest. One is, if there is a time for it, like if it's possible to reduce the time, let's say just 9 to 12 instead of like, you know, 8 to 2 or whatever, uh, then do that because then you can book his part of his day with other therapies, right? As long as his time is being used, like I don't ever tell a parent to pull their child from school and then let them just hang out at home. Like it's very important to book that time with one-to-one -one really, really effective therapies, right? So you can try to move to partial days. Sometimes the school will go with that. The other thing is, obviously, you can ask for an aid in school. So you could, for instance, have one of your, if you have an ABA team, if you have a team of therapists, you can ask the school to allow one of your people to be in the school with your child and work really hard on integration with the other kids, generalization of all the skills that they've learned at home, right? That's the way we usually um, integrate our kids is that we do a massive program at home and then we make sure that they are generalizing to the school by putting one of our therapists, one of our BTs in the school. So that's another thing you can do. The third thing you can do is like, Ask for accommodations. So ask the school to modify whatever it is they're doing in a way that supports and helps and teaches your child or that works for your child. Now, all that said, if it's just a really bad program where your child is like not doing anything and, you know, very unhappy to be there, then you really need to start looking at other programs and other options. So 
I hate to say this because I know how busy parents are with everything else going on, but the school environment is a really, really important choice because the child is there for like, you know, eight hours a day. And so the bulk of their time is spent there. Let's do our very best to make sure the people there care about our kids and are, are trained enough to actually teach our kids the way they're supposed to learn. Amen to that. And I will just say that we have a playlist um, that you guys can access if you go to our YouTube page. So it's just youtube.com slash autism live. And there's many playlists there. But um, there's one that's just called Know Your Rights with Bonnie Yates. Uh, Bonnie Yates is a special education attorney. She talks about, like, you just heard Dr. Grampy-Shay talk about all the things clinically and that your child needs to consider them as a whole individual. Bonnie will tell you all the things that you need to know legally. Like that if you want to pull them out of school, you have to give them uh, 10 days written notice. If you know that you have the right to um, ask them to tell you 20 minute increments, which goal they're working on, um, ways to make sure that they're not making it a black hole. So I really encourage you to head over to that playlist and look at some of the things that Bonnie answers, because I think that that'll be important. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here.